For years, my life was dedicated to swimming. I went to the pool every day. I was constantly in the water, and all the while, I was certain that swimming would make me happy. I thought it would give my life meaning. But over time, I began to realize that swimming wasn't everything I'd hoped it would be. Who's that guy? I don't know. He's never come down to this part of the pool. I love that cool feeling I got when the water first touched my feet. But once that wore off, the rest of my body was still hot. Why couldn't swimming help me then? Dude, just come over here. It's like 20 times deeper. Plus, I had all these questions that none of the swim instructors could answer. Actually, we're both swim instructors, and you've never once asked either of us a question. How is it possible to float? Why is it called a backstroke when you don't even stroke your back? Why do bad belly flops happen to good divers? Nobody could answer these questions. I can answer all those questions in like 30 seconds. Nobody was even talking about these things. That's literally what we do here all day, dude. Then I realized that in my zeal to be a great swimmer, I was rejecting all these amazing athletes that weren't in the pool. Like I met football players who were so much faster and more agile than I was. Why should I say that they weren't swimmers too? Because they're players. Playing football instead of swimming! Now, I know that many of you will be hurt by my decision to leave the pool, especially those countless people I gave swim lessons to. Who let you give swim lessons? You can't even doggy paddle. I own a doggy paddle. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tyler, you betrayed us. Tyler, now you're going to spend all your days insulting us and the things we still love in order to gain the approval and the money of your new swim-hating friends. But nothing could be further from the truth. Something you'll see very clearly when I release my new book. Swimming is stupid, and so are the people who like it. I bet he sells 500 copies. So one for every person who already wrote that book? So what's next for me? Well, I'm so glad I can finally say this out loud. I'm finally free to go where I've always belonged. I am finally ready to live my truth and commit myself to a lifetime of rock climbing. Three weeks later. But over time, I began to realize that rock climbing couldn't take me to the heights I had hoped. Oh, come on! Hans tried really hard to come up with a joke for this part of the video, but he just couldn't do it. Yeah, and he feels really bad about that, which is why he wanted us to tell you, quote, I'm really sorry, I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? That's a really bad impression. <laughs>